Dozens of major wildfires are burning across the state right now. The U.S. Forest Service says it's temporarily closing all 18 national forests in California. Forestry officials say the extreme fire behavior is historic in scope, and these steps are necessary to protect people and firefighters alike. As conditions improve, the decision will be reevaluated to reopen some of that national forest land. Bushnell, uh, I just keep this in my pocket. so far. The deer are moving, man. So we got a buck about 800 yards down the canyon. But it's looking like it's a spike. Can't put a fork on him. He's with two other deer. It's a great day hunting, I'll tell you that. We've seen a lot of deer. He's the one spawning them all. <laughs> So this morning we're in the uh, Cash Creek, Knoxville wildlife area, and I got my nephew with me, Mike Davis. 
he's got his rifle with him, so this is more of a rifle hunt. But I brought my bow just in case. It's time to put a buck down. So we're going to head back <coughs> and we're going to wrap around this bend where we can see the other side of this valley. something up. Sunday, September 19th, first light.
couldn't find any blood. No slide trail. So he must have made it over back off into there. it's so steep we yeah, don't, yeah. I, don't I, I never hike with one in the chamber so I shoot and nothing happens now then the deer the buck starts moving again I put one in the chamber and I you know I felt pretty good about the shot I took but he, I didn't see after I shot him and uh, we didn't find any blood or anything so it looks like a clean miss yeah we're sitting right right where he was at so what it was, we got a doe buck down below us. Then a fork and horn come up after the doe. The fork and horn and the doe split, and the fork and horn came up through here. Michael shot at him, but miss, we couldn't find blood anywhere. But after he shot at, or right after he shot at him, a fork spike came out below us and cut across. So there was two bucks and two does total. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set it, we're just gonna hang out up here, give it some time because they're ruddy. You got separated from that doe. They might just circle back around and try to relocate that doe. And if they do, maybe we'll get another shot. See it happens. Said it's pretty, pretty tough hunting, man. But uh, to finally get a shot at a buck on public land is pretty cool. Yeah. Got kind of spoiled hunting private land my whole life, you know, and it's not as easy uh, hunting this. But you win some, you lose some. You got up there like a trooper, man. Most people wouldn't even have made it that high up. Yeah. Everything went according to plan pretty much, so.
heard them run out behind us. I didn't have time to tell you, Rich. They came behind us? They came right out behind this tree right here. I looked at... I expected them to come up Dude, over. The, I, I heard, I heard like this, and I looked over. I thought, man, I knew they were going to come from this side, but I thought oh, they were yeah, going to come bro. below us. Fuck yeah, dude. So what happened is, is we were facing downhill. And he turned, and my back was to Mike. All of a sudden, his gun went off. <laughs> He's down, man. All of a sudden, his gun went off, and I go, what the hell? I thought it misfired. And he killed a buck. 50 yards, right there. That's that same fork and horn in that doe. Is it? Yeah. It's the same. We'll go look at it, see if his horns are messed up. He looked like it. But we look, think it's the same fork and horn that he missed. Or it was what was it, three days ago? Yeah, on Sunday. Or it was the other buck we saw. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. And Northern A zone, man. They're in the rut right now. He's running with a doe. Chasing a doe. He was right on her ass too, man. I wish you could have got that on film. He was right. He was right on her. Yeah. The doe seen us. He did. Well, I turned around. I seen the doe split, and I saw. And I, he had dropped, and he and he uh, he tried to get up for like a split second, and then he was. That was it. Unbelievable. Public land, dude. Oh, How do you feel, man? Your first public That's land buck. Awesome, man. Still a little shaky, dude. It happened quick. <laughs> yeah. You know, last uh, last Sunday I was in here and I was sick. I just had oral surgery and I'm on painkillers and antibiotics and you know I just wasn't wasn't focused and I I missed an easy shot at a buck and uh, I wasn't gonna let that happen twice. Yeah, you know? I got the miss on film too. Well, by now you probably already seen the miss. <laughs> to, to get two opportunities on public land at a legal buck, uh, it's pretty crazy. Man. Yeah, within yeah, we're thinking it might be the same buck, but I we're hope, gonna go up and I hope we're, it is. we're gonna go right now and check. It. He's uh, he's the second deer we saw. No, he's a fork and horn. Four, four, five. There was absolutely no time to get it on film. When he shot, my back was still to him. Yeah, he's done. <laughs> tell you what, there's some blood there, huh? Well, now we could honestly say that shooting bucks on public land is a family tradition. <laughs> oh, dude. Perfect. Took out his back shoulder. Yeah. Well, congratulations, man. Fuck yeah, dude. This is a steep canyon, too. You know, this might have been that smaller buck. That was that ran off. I don't think this is the buck that you shot at. This is the one that was down below, Rich. Might have hey. been. Because his horns were about this tall. Yeah, I but could, I couldn't put forks on him. When he shot at, his horns were all Bucked deformed. Yeah. yeah. This is a different deer.
heart in the liver? Yeah. Well, heart's still in there. Oh. I didn't, I didn't cut it out. Now what I'm gonna do. I was never gonna let that happen again. It's fucking embarrassing. Oh, that miss? Yeah, the miss. But I know, I know miss has happened, but just the way it happened, it just didn't sit well with me. Yeah. So this is the redemption buck. The redemption buck. Yeah. I mean, I didn't get, I didn't get the kill shot, but I'd rather. <laughs> we got a buck down, you know what I mean? I'd rather that happen than get it on film. You ready to drag that thing? Yeah. And we got an easy drag too, all downhill. Let's go get some coffee, man. Let's get down there. Let's do this. Okay. Got about a about a half a mile drag, but it's all downhill. You still got it, old timer. <laughs> <laughs> old timer. Ain't nothing like dragging a buck out at 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Damn. Alrighty. So awesome. It's been a long A zone season, man. Full of archery in general. It's been a long one for me. But we got success, even though I didn't pull the trigger. Just got to take your passenger seat out. <laughs> Ooh, we stopped by the local fire station and got the tag validated. Here, hold the horns back. Watch oh, yeah. Now we're going to go get the skin off. It's been maybe. Yeah, it's not too often that you see somebody uh, skinning out a buck in the front lawn in the neighborhood. So 
So that wasn't the entrance, that's the exit? The left, yeah, that's the exit wound. Let me see if it's the other side. See, that looks like the exit wound. You would think that. That bullet just exploded on the fucking ribs. Yeah, I guess so. You saw the way he was facing. Yeah, those copper bullets, man. They're funky. Okay. You should get the horns off the head so we can get the head and the hide in that sack and get all that out of there. Some uh, good old duct tape. We're just uh, do one side, make it tight. Truck. Yeah. <laughs> Not too shabby. Huh? Not too bad. He got it where I got my first buck, and it's about the same size as my first buck. Right on, bud. Right on. So when are you going to start your guide, sir?